This is a company that many investors are at least familiar with from a customer standpoint. They're one of the biggest mutual fund providers in the world. Um, I'm not sure if they are the biggest, uh, but they have to be up there when it comes to actively managed mutual funds. Um, I know uh, like Vanguard is probably the largest mutual fund company because they have trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Um, the indexes the, though. Right. The majority of fund investors are in, in the, are in index funds through you know retirement plans, things like that. Um, but T. Rowe Price, they are a massive company. They have almost $1.7 trillion of assets under management. Um, to, be, to put that in perspective, Goldman Sachs is in the $2 trillion range, firm-wide. So this is a pretty large operation, and they're growing impressively. Um, people are gravitating toward their fund these, funds these days, and we've pretty much been in a, a bull market for 12 years with a mild interruption during the COVID pandemic and, and very recently. Um, so the market's performed really well. As the market performs better, companies that make their money from charging a fee based on assets under management see their fee income go up. If the market goes up by 20% per year, you know, T. Rowe Price's fee income is going to go up by that. So over the past year, their revenue went up 24%, mostly because of market performance. Um, their earnings went up even better, 32% year over year because their revenue grew faster than their expenses. And it's been a fantastic performer over the years. Let me just quickly share my screen. This is a chart of T. Rowe Price's performance since its IPO in the mid 1980s. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yeah. 18,700% return since the mid 1980s. That's a pretty impressive long-term track record. You can I got see another this. track record here. It's increased its dividend every year for 35 straight years. Yep. It's, it's been a great dividend payer. You can see recently the performance has been not so great, um, but can't we say that about most of the stocks we follow? Right, um, right. So just to kind of go into why they've been underperforming, um, a few different things. One, it was a bad year in 2021 for actively managed mutual funds. Index fund investors, I mean, look at the performance of the S&P 500 and Dow Jones versus some of the stocks that we, we like so much. It was a really bad year to be a stock picker, as most people listening here have found out. It was a really good year to be an index fund investor because they dramatically outperformed most individual investors. So being one of the largest providers of actively managed mutual funds, not all of their funds are actively managed, but that's a big focus of theirs. Um, that's kind of their, their differentiator. It wasn't a great year for a lot of their funds. Um, number two, we saw a lot of outflows from their funds. Not a lot based on the $1.7 trillion figure I mentioned, uh, but throughout 2021, net outflows, meaning more money went out than went into their funds, was about $28.5 billion of investor money was pulled out of funds. Now, a lot of this is because the market's done really well. Um, it's pretty much been straight up since it bottomed in March 2020 through you know, very late 2021. So in periods like that, it's natural you see a lot of investors tap into their accounts, start pulling a little bit of money out. Um, but still not what you not really what you want to see as an investor. Um, I think T Rowe Price is a fantastic track record of being a great dividend payer, of being a great creator of a, a generator of assets under management, and therefore a generator of revenue growth. Um, and I don't really see that changing. I don't think they're going to return you know, 18,000% over the next 40 years, like they did over the last 40. But it's still going to be, I think, a, a, a market outperformer. And that's why I ranked it toward the, the high end, guys. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just say real quickly, and then Taylor, you can have the last word. Um, I generally agree with you, Matt, on, on everything you said. I think it's easy to underappreciate how its ability to capture more assets under management can also generate operating leverage, right? Um, so it's, it's, it's that last dollar can be more profitable than the first dollar model. In the near term, I am concerned about continued revaluation of the market over the next year or two. Um, as multiples come down, that could weigh on its returns, that could weigh on its assets and its results. Um, but over the long term, I think it's going to continue because these guys have done it in every potential market environment. And I think that's likely to continue to be the case. Taylor? Yeah, you know, I'm not negative on T. Rowe Price. It's just when I was looking at all of these stocks, we had a lot of tech stocks, actually, that, that kind of got hammered. And, and so mm -hmm. I, I 
typically put all the tech stocks over something like T. Rowe Price, which is pretty conservative investment. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I, I think it probably will be, well, you know, I don't even know if it'll beat the S&P 500 over the next 10 years. I mean, it might, it might not. They, they have amazing margins and 40% margins. Uh, you know, I, I, I question whether they have a lot of growth, um, whether there's it's still a growth story. I, you know, I, to me, it's, it's, um, I don't know. It's interesting. We're, we're going through a, a, a really interesting time in the financial markets with crypto. And as far as I, I know, T. Rowe Price is not involved in crypto at all. And, and so they're more conservative on that sense. I might be wrong on that. I, I'm not an expert on T. Rowe Price. But, but so that's kind of interesting that, that large numbers of Americans are buying crypto and that people are chasing yield in crypto. And, and so I wonder if some of these old school banks and financial services firms might take a, a hit from that if they don't transform. And Because I'm a big believer in where crypto is going to take us. So I, that, that would be kind of a sort of a back of my mind question. If you, obviously, if you don't believe in crypto or you think it's, the, it's crazy, then you would probably love T. Rowe Price. And, <laughs> And so that's kind of, you know, where you, where you come down on that. Are, are you a crypto guy or you, do you think it's crazy? Because these guys seem to me to be very conservative. And, um, you know, I, I, I didn't, they've doubled over the last five years. The stock's done a little bit better. It's like 130% or something. It, it took a recent hit, obviously. And that didn't include their dividends. So if you're looking for dividends, this would be a strong company. Um, but, you know, I, I'm more in the growth end. Of, of picking stocks. So I, I, this is not one for me.